Okay, the next, ready? Yeah. Hello, welcome to the first ever episode of Ask Dogfish. We thought it'd be cool to kick this series off in our tree house. And when we're up here, this is our fortress of truth telling. <laughs> A bunch of our good pals on Twitter threw us some questions, and I'm going to just pick a few and uh, read them off and give you my immediate impressions on where we stand with this. And this is from at Grelas, G-R-E-L-A-S. And the question is, any plans on brewing some strong sours? And so Dogfish, we've been brewing sours for about 13 years. Uh, the first bottled sour we did, I think was one of the first, you know, wild Amer American wild ales was called Festina Lente, which in Latin means ha make haste slowly. And we sent it out to distribution a little over a decade ago. And I think 70% of it came back to our brewery because our distributors and retailers were like, hey, asshole, your beer went sour. We're like, no, 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 it's, it's supposed to. Uh, and then a few years later, Festina Lente won a World Beer Cup alongside great breweries like Cantillon and, and Bone from from Belgium, uh, and you started to see sours really get traction in America, and then we did the first bottled Berliner Weiss in America, our Festina Pesch, which is sort of the little brother, ABV-wise, to Festina Lente. Uh, it's under 5%, wonderful summer session-y, subtle sour beer. Um, and the answer to the question is, yes, Dogfish is gonna be doing uh, more sours. Uh, in terms of packaged bottled beers, perhaps, Late in 2015, there's a beer that might have a sour component to it. Definitely in the summer with Festina Pesh. Uh, and we were even doing, you know, small batch tests on Festina Lente, our original sour that will be out at festivals and stuff this year. And even Raison Bretra, which is a, a Brett uh, fermented version of our Raison Detra. So, yep, we're super stoked about sours and we're going to keep doing them. Okay, next question is a doozy and timely. It's from at Rark Muscle. The question is, how do you feel about Anheuser-Busch's $9 million attack ad on craft beer? So as uh, fellow craft beer enthusiasts, you're probably uh, not hearing for the first time that Anheuser-Busch uh, ran a $9 million ad during the Super Bowl, basically you know, saying, you know, we're macro beer and we're proud of that. And the whole uh, craft community is too pretentious and has you know, made beer too complicated and uh, uncool, and if you're cool, you should uh, drink macro beer. And to that I say, you know, good for Budweiser as a brand. I guess that's what they were trying to do is separate out Budweiser, but it seemed like a pretty ham-fisted uh, message when ABI is making gigantic uh, overtures to, to sort of steal the warm and fuzzies of indie craft, you know, by buying out once independent craft breweries or marketing beers like Shock Top as craft. So it did seem a little disingenuous or talking out both sides of your mouth, but I guess if the people that, a uh, room full of MBAs that just cares about Budweiser as a brand said, oh, the way we differentiate Budweiser is to make fun of craft, I guess it's understandable, but it makes you question the overall intentions of the giant you know, international conglomerate that is ABI as they interface with True Indie Craft. I'll say that we're proud to be True Indie Craft here at Dogfish Head. All right, uh, last question at 11 p.m. somewhere uh, is, what's the best piece of advice you can give to a new brewery getting off the ground? Um, I would say best piece of advice I would give uh, would be, A, it's never been a more exciting time in the beer industry to be a beer drinker or a more exciting time to be a beer brewer that's considering taking your hobby uh, you know, professional and opening a small brewery. When I opened Dogfish uh, 20 years ago, there was about 600 breweries in America and one new brewery opening every week. Contrast that to today, here we are 2015, uh, there's now over 3,000 craft breweries in America and one and a half new commercial breweries opening every day, which is wonderful. There's gonna be so many new awesome beers on the market that we're all gonna love drinking. And uh, that's great, but odds are there are going to be new beers coming on the market that aren't paying attention to quality and consistency, uh, and that will make the whole craft beer category, uh, um, it'll hurt us. Uh, so my advice is if you're getting into the industry, make sure you're the sort of the, the, the foundation of your brewery is based equally strong on three legs, and the legs should be uh, a, a militant focus on brewing quality beer, a militant focus on brewing your beer consistently, 
and a militant focus on making sure your beer and your brand are well differentiated. Don't just copy what other craft breweries are out there. Uh, particularly as you think about trademarks, be respectful to the breweries that came before you and their brand identities and forge your own path in the industry. Make quality, consistent beer. If you do those three things, the, the beer lovers will find you and you'll, you'll do awesome. <laughs>